we 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 kind of recognized that early. I mean, it was frustrating. I mean, we called third down here, money down, and it just seemed like we did. We worked so hard to get them to those third and longs, and they was just completing them. I mean, it was frustrating. So we came to the sideline. We talked about it. Like the only thing that's that's keeping them in this game is they we keep letting them convert on third down. So once we talked about it, we got that figured out. Then that's when the defense started rocking a little bit, and we started getting that problem fixed and getting the ball back to the offense as much as possible. What was the mood after the game, and what's the mood been like since then? Uh, the mood after the game, you know, everybody was sad. I mean, it's, that was a tough loss to take, especially with that atmosphere. Like, all our fans came out to support us, and it was our first home game. Plus, we haven't lost the home game since I've actually been here. So, you know, that it was tough. But, I mean, we just came in yesterday, and we talked about it. We all Basically, we all have to get on the same page because we had a bunch of mental errors out there on the defensive side. So we just got to get on the same page to figure out why those mental errors was. So we spent the whole day just talking to each other as a defense, trying to figure out what went wrong or making sure everybody understands what the defense is so there won't be any mental errors. Tyvis, the after it was 21-21, it looked like the tide had changed a little bit. You guys got the big strip sack and, and led to the touchdown. Why were they able to answer with relative ease on that next drive? I mean, they just went right down the field, it looked like. Like I said, we just had some mental errors, man. I mean, things coming in yesterday and just listening to each other talk, I mean, it was some errors that shouldn't have been made, but I guess people were just caught up in the moment, I guess, and we just made some little errors and they cost us. Tyvis, what's Coach Meyer like to be around after a loss? Um, he just, he stayed, he, he, re, he remained calm about it, I mean, he he paints the big picture for us. Like I mean, at the time when you when you got that loss and you don't want to hear stuff, like all you think about is the loss. But he kind of gets you to move on, like move forward and look to the future rather than to sit back and dwell on the loss. So I think he he just brought a lot of positive attention and attitude to the situation. We hear so much about victory dinner, but what's dinner like after a loss? Man, it's something that I really didn't really enjoy, and it's something that I cannot get used to. What they serve you? Uh, spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> like spaghetti o spaghetti and meatballs. Or real spaghetti, at least. <laughs> what, what do you usually have? Like, after, no, like steak, <laughs> shrimp, <laughs> lobster, all that stuff. You guys had like like spaghetti, like just old plain old spaghetti and meatballs. Yeah, spaghetti and meatballs, some mashed that? potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> was there a message? I mean, obviously there's a message in that, but was there anything explicitly said about the message in that? No, we we just tried to move forward. I mean, we. Looked at the tape, reviewed it. Everybody has talked about what they need to work on, and we communicated the mental errors. And we just got it. We, we went over it yesterday in practice, got it corrected. We're looking forward to the future now. We just we put it we put that behind us. We basically took yesterday to basically get that bad feeling out your your system. Because once you lose, if you invested a bunch of time into it to this off season in this program, like when you take a loss like that, it really do hurt. Like for me, I was I was depressed about it for a long time. But all you got to do is you got to you got to watch the tape and get better and learn from it, so you don't repeat the same mistakes. Especially after what happened with the Big Ten, which I'm sure you're aware of, yeah. uh, it, it might be tougher for a Big Ten champion to get it be one of those teams in the in the playoffs if it comes down to that. Yeah. Um, but I mean, we're not. I'm not focused on that right now. Only thing I'm focused on is I know that we have. A bunch of we got a, a quite a few number of seniors on defense. I can't speak for the offense because I play defense, but I know we got a, quite a few seniors on defense. And what I want to do is try to win as many games as possible because I don't want nobody's senior year to be bad. So that way, when it's my time to be senior, I want people to play for me, play their hearts out the way I'm gonna play my hearts out for them. Plus, I got so much respect and love for them that I want them to go out with a bang. Ty, it's a little bit of a two-part question. You guys have lost three of your last four games. One, has the program lost a little bit of its luster? And two, if so, do you guys play with a little bit more of a chip on your shoulder now, like you, you've got something to prove? Um, I don't, I mean, I don't, I wouldn't say that we lost our luster. I mean, just stuff just happened, you know. All these couple of games that we lost, it's only been a few plays away. A couple of mental errors here and there, it's just cost us big. Um, do we still play with a chip on our shoulder? I would say, yeah, we still. I mean, people, when you come to the Big Ten, when people think about the Big Ten, like, we the big people, like, the, to be in the Big Ten. So everybody's looking up to us and stuff. So we got to play with that chip on our shoulder to prove why we still, if not the best, one of the best teams in the Big Ten, if not even in the country. A lot of the third downs they converted, 
it seemed like the receivers were, for the most part, kind of wide open. Did, did you think, or maybe not all the time, but did you think at, at points in crucial moments you guys were a little too soft with the coverage? Um, uh, I wouldn't say that we was playing too soft with the coverage. I mean, it's just this, the design play, just those mental errors, just something with the D line and stuff like that. But I mean, it just I'm not pointing the fingers at nobody. I mean, we all just everybody made mistakes in the game, and we just got to fix them, man. I don't think. I think we're just going to get better from here on out. So I don't think we have to worry about that again. Titus, is is this loss easier to move on from than, than those last season just because you have a game seven days later, you kind of have to? Yeah, you got you definitely got to get it out your system right away. You can't, you can't sit back and dwell on it. I mean, like, after I get done with this, I'm going to go in there and give me a massage, and then I'm going to go focus on Kent State because that's what's next. And that's what I can't sit back and think about this Virginia Tech game because I don't have time to. In the offseason, you got time to train for it, think about it, and keep it in your stomach. But all you got to do is keep it in the back of your head now that you don't want to feel this again. Plus, you, I mean, we lost in front of the, a home game, which is what hasn't happened around here in a very long time. So you just you try to focus on not doing that again. There's so much emphasis on the new scheme, the new attacking, contest every pass scheme. How much of that did we see on Saturday? Um, we didn't. The, it, the, the cause was very basic. I mean, we didn't, it's not like we had a wide package of days we was running. We only ran about four coverages the whole game, if not, probably not even that. So, I mean, just, just breakdowns, little bit of little breakdowns happen, and that's what happened on that stuff. Tyus, a couple of your teammates have said those breakdowns came at the most crucial moments. Yeah. Are you guys pressing too much? I wouldn't say we was pressing too much. I mean, no, I mean not pressing as in co uh, press coverage. I mean pressing like in gripping a stick too tight or trying too hard. Um, I mean, well, you got to go out there and give it y'all. I mean, I, I wouldn't say. I mean, wouldn't you want them to try their hardest? I mean, I'm not going to say I want them to ease off or anything like that. I mean, we just have to recognize the, the down the distance and the situation and just treat them all like it's our last time out there or something. I was Coach Meyer said he wants this to be locked down defense for four quarters. How far do you think away do you think you guys are from being uh, Okay, well, the first half, obviously, wasn't a good first half for the defense. But second half, after we talked about it in the locker room, second half it was a much improved defense. I think you all can agree with that. Um, I wouldn't say that we're that far off because Couple past the what two games we played this season. I mean, we haven't really given up that much in the second half. We just had to focus on that, doing it for t for two halves, four quarters, not trying to wait for the adjustments for halftime. We've got to figure it out right from the jump start. So I don't think we're that far off at all. Is it more on you guys to make sure you come out in that mindset at the beginning of the game? Or yeah, I think it's definitely more on us. I mean, like I said, once we eliminate those mental errors, all those mental errors that, are, that happened was in the first half or that, right after that touchdown. So if we once we eliminate that, I mean, we I've, the film basically tells that when we play the assignments and do everything we're supposed to do correctly, I mean, we, we, we dominate it, but we just got to do that for four quarters. So, yeah, I was going to ask you, I mean, the enthusiasm on the defensive side is still high about this new system you guys are going with and stuff. I, I explain after you kind of have a game like that the other night and stuff, how do you kind of like step back and look at things, but do you feel like the enthusiasm is I mean, still high? I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, like I said, once we sat back and seen that people was making the errors and we talked about it, People was at, like admitting, yeah, I did mess up on this play, mm -hmm. and you seeing what the result of that play was, versus if we would have played the right, how it would have changed. Which is, we actually got that on tape too. When things played out the right way, everything went the way perfect, and we was making law, tackles for losses, getting strip sacks and stuff like that. So all we got to do is, like I said, eliminate those mistakes and play like that. Keep the energy, because you seen the energy in the second half. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, we was kind of up and down the first half. We keep that high energy for the whole four quarters. I don't think no offense can really mess with us. Did you expect to go through growing pains? So, you know, you're, oh, you're, you're every this, you're, every game's gonna come. Like I mean, like it's, it's new out there. It's like it's, yeah. I mean, we have been doing it since the spring, but it is rather rather new for us because week one we had the Navy, so we wasn't really doing what we do exactly. now. Yeah. So coming back to it is kind of getting back, trying to reteach it all over again, but trying to like. Get it back, but everybody's not one, two on it, like not 100% on the calls and adjustments and stuff. So now that we got that game under our belt and we're back to our all regular defense, I think everything from now on will go kind of smoother. One other quickie. 
did you get to see much of Virginia Tech on defense? And how impressed, I guess, as a defensive player were you <laughs> with how they attacked? Uh, I mean, I mean, I, I figured they was gonna kind of be kind of aggressive, but I mean. I mean, they just they they executed, they did their stuff right, and they showed for it. I mean, yeah. I mean, they kind of outplayed us for the first half. I would say. Titans, how, difficult was the prep, how difficult was the prep for Virginia Tech coming off of Navy when you're going from you know basically learning how to play left-handed, going back to learning how to play right-handed? I mean, it was kind of just the first couple of days was just kind of rut, was kind of shaking off the rust, you know, since we ain't talked about certain things in so long. I mean, it was some calls that we was making. I said, wow, I haven't heard this in a long time. But, I mean, we repped it so much that I don't know how we made these breakdowns in the game. I mean, it seemed like everybody, by the end of the week, everybody was on the same page. Everybody figured out, yeah, this is what we've been doing. So, I mean, I don't know. It's just like I said, people kind of got caught up in the environment and stuff like that. Tyvis, you said Last you guys were, were making the adjustments. You've been making adjustments at halftime. How hard is it to see those mistakes in real time and make those adjustments as they're happening? Well, Actually, in real time, it's not that hard to use. You kind of can figure it out right then and there. Like, if I made a mistake, I knew right then and there I made the mistake once the play was over. Plus, once I came off for the possession, I had Coach Ash tell me that I had to, you know, I made a mistake or something like that. And that's kind of how it is. Like, once we come off the field, like, coaches, are they, they see it and they can make the adjustments. So plus, Coach Ash, like, it's kind of Coach Ash's defense. Like, he's, like, the mastermind behind it all. So he knows what happened, where the breakdowns is. So he's able to tell you right then and there what happened, what, like, what adjustments need to be made. So once we come off the field, off that possession, he, you get the check or whatever it is that you did wrong. He's able to tell you what it is so you can go out there and fix it or correct it for the next series.